think that many of us have multiple passions. We have multiple gifts. And we're not really given that many tools in our university or educational system to parse through how to actually identify our strengths and then to be able to apply them, right? There was an alarm, someone saying I'm right. <laughs> Absolutely. But really to apply those strengths in a way that can produce a living that not only can sustain you, but that's meaningful and fulfilling. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, for me, I, I went to actually, I, I didn't really talk about this too much in the book, but I had went to one of the top um, ADHD doctors in the country because I was so, I couldn't understand why I was having so much trouble focusing and getting things done. And he's like, yeah, you absolutely have the gift. But you know, by the time I got to him, he's like, you've learned how to cope well enough. So to answer your question, I think what I would say to the younger me was to trust your intuitive impulses and to trust the drive and the passion and the appetite that I had to do many different things, which included personal development, business, hip hop, fitness, spirituality, you name it. Um, I think the challenge I ran into, especially in my early 20s, was when I was reading all of these different success books, like traditional success and career books, they all gave a different version of pretty much the same advice. Choose one thing, focus in, do it so well and just stay so narrow until hopefully in 10 or 20 years people will notice that you're good at it. And I understood that advice from an intellectual perspective. And for some people, that advice makes perfect sense. You know, Josh, my partner, he knew since he was a little boy that he wanted to be an actor. Like some people pop out knowing exactly who they want to be and exactly what they want to do. I am not one of those humans, right? And so I think a real breakthrough for me came after I had spent so many years like tearfully journaling and being angry with God that you know I was broken, why can't I pick one thing to do with my life? And I feel like the career gods gave me a gift when the phrase multi-passionate entrepreneur appeared in my brain. Right. Right. Who the multi-passionate entrepreneurs? How many multi yes. Yeah. And for those of you guys who are like, what the hell is she talking about? Yes, I made up that phrase. Um, all it means is that you don't necessarily fit neatly into a conventional career box. You know, one of the places in my own journey where I had so much shame was when I was starting my business. I was basically bartending and waiting tables seven days a week at night so I could figure out how to build a business during the day. And so when people would ask me, well, what do you do for a living? I'm like, today or this afternoon or this weekend? Like this weekend, I'll be cleaning people's toilets. Friday night, I'll be bartending. In the day, I'll be coaching people. You know, there were so many different things, but I had so much shame about that because I didn't have one good society approved answer. And I felt like I needed to in order to live up to society's expectations. And so it wasn't until that phrase kind of popped into my mind and then I spontaneously started saying like, people say, what do you do? And I'm like, I'm a multi-passionate entrepreneur. And I had such swagger when I said it that they were interested. 